The Chief of Army Staff has promised that the army would continue to uphold the dignity of human rights of Nigerians. He said this Thursday at the third edition of the Nigerian Army Human Rights Seminar with a the theme, Human Rights and National Security, a Strategic Balance. Senior Correspondent Ivy Kano reports. In view of having a better civil-military relations, it's become imperative to hold this seminar. The Army says the seminar is another opportunity for those in the judiciary, media, civil society, representatives of local governments to review, advise the Army with focus on exploring human rights. We believe that all our combat successes will come to naught if we lose out in the competition for the hearts and minds of the people. I call on everyone to freely and candidly express their views and we expect to live with reasonable takeaways. Special guest of honor, Honorable Justice Owade, retired and representative of Chief Justice of Lagos, described the seminar as timely. It is common with humans, the very institutions created to protect freedoms and rights, occasionally end up violating the rights of citizens they were meant to protect. It is therefore gratifying that the army as an instrument of the state is striving, striving to find a strategic balance. The Anti-Torture Act resonates the global standards set by the Convention Against Torture as well as the African Charter on Human and People's Rights. There were paper presentations. In the attempt to be civil, the military has dropped their guards by becoming peacemaker. In the process, we paid the supreme price. The counterinsurgency war had directly and indirectly killed 350,000 people. A significant amount of casualties was children younger than five years old. The panel sessions were moderated by on-air personalities. We don't have any business as a country militarizing the civic space. The reason why part of the problem that the Nigerian people have in their interaction with the military is the excessive presence of the military. You need to start understanding that the military, they're not exactly your enemy. It is government or the politicians or some people sitting down somewhere that are sending them to you to actually do the damage. The army said upholding human rights is a priority. Thank you. Ivy, Kano, TVC News.